Today is Travel Day! Onward! Let's go! That is the question. Now you probably already put those puzzle pieces together by the title, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. We are traveling to Sandals in Barbados. Sandals um, has invited us to come and stay for a few nights um, for a travel agent trip. So thank you ahead of time to Steven and Yasmin and the rest of the travel agent Sandals team for inviting us to come. We will actually be arriving a day early before the rest of our um, travel advisor group. One, because we wanted a day to get settled in before uh, the rest of our travel agent tasks start tomorrow. Um, and also too, we've never been to Barbados, so we're just really excited to go and we're really excited to show you everything because there's going to be a lot to show. Hey Matt, <laughs> it's like friends. It's like we're on friends right now. Barbados, baby! Oh yes, yes, that's right. Oh wait, no, no, they don't say that for Barbados, they say that for London. London, baby! Wow, still. What do they say for Barbados? I don't know. But they went to Barbados. That's, say, what, that's what counts. They say, yay, Barbados. <laughs> this is pretty fun. Miami's airport, I guess, is the, the garages are named after like different tropical animals. And one was Flamingo, and we're, we're staying in the dolphin garage. This is without a doubt the longest line we've ever had for pre check because there usually isn't a line for pre check. <laughs> See the blue and green sign all the way up there? That's where we're going. Yikes. As insanely busy as that was, and it was that, it was insanely busy, I will say, pre-check is still better than going through the regular line. Just Miami is a busy airport. Get here early. Guess what? What? I have a good luck charm. Okay, Lucky Llama. Okay. This is probably our last flight where masks are going to be okay. required. I think I think the mask mandate ends like mid-April and I don't think it's going to get extended. Oh wow. Fingers crossed. Progress. <laughs> to take the stairs off the plane onto the tarmac like real jet setters okay we made it through customs and uh getting off the plane stuff we did have to take another covid test which i'm not really sure why um well i do know why it was because there was like i guess it didn't say on our piece of paper of our previous covid test that we took yesterday that whether it was like a nasal or an oral test and a, I guess that matters so they had us take another test I mean it was really easy it was just 15 minutes it was free it was like totally no problem um, but I bring that up just because like Barbados is one of the most um, I don't want to say difficult but has like the most procedures with um, 
with entering, especially with COVID stuff. So just keep that in mind and make sure you check the website often and see how things are continuing to change. But we made it through and we're ready to go. And here's the sandals chaos. This one's outside. Um, so here's a look at the airport. And we had to come, well, here's a look at the outside of the airport. We came all the way down here. Here's the kiosk and we're gonna get our free shuttle to Sandals Bar Venus. That's where we're going. where it is. We are at Sandals Royal Barbados. So there are two Sandals Resorts in Barbados. One is called Sandals Barbados. This one is called Sandals Royal Barbados, where is where we'll be staying this whole time. So yes, two Sandals Resorts right next door to each other, literally. They butt up against each other, they share a beach. Um, so you get to go between them. Stay at one, play at two. So Sandals Barbados, Sandals Royal Barbados, like you mentioned. So what's the difference between the two? The biggest difference is probably that a Sandals Royal Barbados is club and butler level only. Whereas Sandals Barbados does have luxury level rooms. So I know we've been saying this whole time that we're coming to Sandals and Barbados, which we are. There are two separate resorts though, but they're right next to each other. So we, we're we kind of staying at both, but we just happened, our room is going to be at Sandals Royal Barbados, but we can go back and forth as much as we want. Use the restaurants, use the bars, do the different activities. It's all there for you. As Matt mentioned, Sandals Royal Barbados, which is where we're staying, is either club level or butler level. We are club level, so we are going to go into Club Sandals and we're gonna check in and get our room. So yeah, here is the inside the club level lounge. Got the TVs there, couches and chairs, especially coffee machine. It also does hot chocolate, little pastries and stuff. They have the desk in here to make reservations for you. So you come in here, they'll get you all paired up with your authorization, finish check-in, and then they'll escort you to the room. Okay, let's take a quick look at our accommodations. Oh, hello. <laughs> look at it, it's so pretty! It is. So if you want the full look, check out the res uh, the room tour, not resort tour, room tour uh, video that we will have on the channel at some point. It's a nice, huge bathroom here. Love the turtle art. Apparently turtles are a big thing here. They said we'll probably see them when we go snorkeling. Nice, big TV, desk space underneath, nice table and chair over there. Get the couch action. Yeah. Of course, huge bed. I like the, uh, what are those, geese? This is always fun. Piece of art, right? What? Oh, I didn't even notice Secret that! Secret window into the shower, which is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Let's head outside, though. This is the best part. Look how big it is out here. It's a huge balcony, absolutely massive. So we have the table and chairs, and then tranquility soaking tub. And look, there's Babies. Baby turts and a ceiling fan out here too, which is nice. And of course, if you want to use the tub in privacy or just the balcony in general, they do have the curtains you can pull across there. So for our specific room, we're looking at the uh, the garden area there, which this resort has lovely landscaping. We have the bars and pool up, sorry, rooftop pool up there. And then the French restaurant is up top. We're gonna have the lights lit up over there. And then right below us, there's some swim up rooms. So even though our room isn't a swim-up room, we get to enjoy the uh, waterfalls that are going into the pool down there. Listen to the serene sounds of the birds. Check out the landscaping. We can see a little bit of the ocean right out there. A little bit of blue-green action going on. So uh, can't argue with this. This is so nice. We have fruit. We have fruit, and it's a lot of fruit in a variety. Man, so much. That's a proper plate of fruit. And it's like proper slice too. I don't even know what everything is, to be honest. I know pineapple, kiwi, blueberries, grapes, watermelon. Looks like cantaloupe, 
like honeydew maybe yeah. and i don't know what this is like it looks like i know it's not orange but it looks like orange. what this yeah i think it's orange you think it's orange i think it's i figured it was one of those things that's like orange but it's not orange like tangerine or something tangelo <laughs> Oh no. Some it, kind of citrus. Something in that range. Nectarine. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh. Oh. I have something else to throw. So we're in a club level room. So of course we have like bar service. They have liquor up top. And of course we have like our juices and like sodas and stuff and water and beers and stuff in here. But what look, we have big sodas yes usually they're much smaller at you, sandals you, Resort, so. usually they're cans or the mini bottles and now yeah. we have the we have that's, big ones that's a proper bottle very nice 100 percent wasted on us however i do think this is very cool whenever we go to the different sandals resorts they are always have beer that's like brewed locally so i think that's neat I, if you oh thanks for the light if you <laughs> um, if you drank beer I, I feel like that would be like cool to you too <laughs> Care to go explore the resort with me? Let's ride. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Mr. Cage. You know, we didn't see any at Royal Bahamian when we stayed there. But usually you can find some Sandals cats. Hi, I really like you. You're orange. Oh my goodness, and look, its eyes are orange too. Whoa. You're so pretty. And as we walk around and explore here, wanted to give you a little bit of a tip. When you're booking a sandals or beaches stay, we recommend adding one more night than you think you want to go for. Obviously, if you can, right? If you have the time off work, if it's within your budget, all those things. And the reason we say that is because a lot of the times when you come to a sandals or beaches resort, you fly in that day, depending on what time your flight is, especially can affect this. But then you have the you have to do customs right now there's covid stuff and then you have to go to the resort and and now this one's only 15 20 minutes from the airport but other ones can be an hour hour 15 away and by the time you do all that and then you check in you just really that first night is just like sleeping <laughs> i think the first day like the travel day goes by like really fast like the sun's already going down and sandals does like the best job at making your travel day like as least stressful as possible but it's still a travel day so it's still like kind of hectic so yeah i i i, I concur. concur concur and this is our first true look at the the beach in the water here at sandals royal barbados slash barbados waves are coming in pretty good right now but as we mentioned it's getting later in the day and look at that sunset and we won't go over as to disturb, but I did want to show you here, candlelight dinners are a very popular option at Sandals and Beaches, if you prefer. And that's kind of what you'll be getting there. They're going to set you up with your own private table and chairs. They might have some different decor, set the tiki torches up. They'll light those when it gets a little bit darker here. Usually draw hearts in the sand. Just a really nice, romantic, intimate experience and uh, highly recommend that. Now that would be at an additional cost because you're doing private dining. That's like a special add-on thing, but it's a very popular option. Ooh, looks like Sandals Royal Barbados has some lovely night aesthetic. Trademark, of course. Travels. We're about to go to dinner, um, but they gave us this paper that had all the dining options um, at check-in, and I thought this would be helpful for you to see because it has all the times that it's open. It tells the dress code. Um, the ones highlighted in orange mean that you have to make a reservation for them, and the ones that Matt wrote in R next to means that they're located on the Royal Barbados side. The nightlife here at We have decided on some dinner at Soy Sushi. Shout out to Chef Travis. 
if you know, you know. Um, but we are actually crossing over now from Royal Barbados to Sandals Barbados, the other part of the resort. Of course, two resorts here together. So now we've crossed over and we're actually gonna keep passing on through here to get to the restaurant. But here's the thing. I don't know at what point we crossed. Like, I thought we were still at Royal Barbados, but then I looked at the sign and said, Royal Barbados is this way. Yeah. And, oh, I hit myself with the mask. Uh, so I don't, I don't know, like, where the crossing point was, but I think that's cool that you can't tell. So that means, like, it's really easy to get back and forth. Yeah. We'll, we'll show it in more detail, like, during the day and sunlight and stuff, but we have officially crossed over. I don't know where, but it happened. We crossed the state line. We're gonna get soy. Whoa, this is incredible. In the Barbados check-in area, they have like these fiery candles and water. It, it's awesome. It's like Tangle went awry and they and, and caught on fire. At last I see the fire. And there's more fire over here. The Barbados side, you could say, is scolding hot. Legends of the hidden sandals. <laughs> Whoa, totally cool koi pond action. Love it. This whole area is awesome. So they have like the tower here, and the koi pond down below. Kimono hibachi is over there and you go across the bridge across the koi pond to get into that. Or you have soy, the sushi bar, right inside here, which looks awesome. I feel like we like, went into a whole nother world. It kind of but, feels like, like it. Like, I don't feel like we're in Barbados anymore, but we are, right so on. Now we go through these doors, kimonos again on the right for the hibachi, soy on the left for the sushi. Let's head inside. Oh, this is cool. We're sitting at the bar, baby. I love it. This is awesome. We're gonna see it made right in front of us. Look at the, the Here's a quick look at the menu at Soy. Your happy sushi tonight? Yes. We're excited. <laughs> you can tell me what Sorry? You can tell me what it's going on in the door. And you know how it is. Gotta start off with some miso soup, of course. Look at the presentation on my spicy crispy shrimp roll right here. Is that not the most incredible thing you've ever seen? Like this I is, mean, this is beyond food. This is art. Look at the dogs. Of course the rolls themselves. Look at the little grass up there. Look how they did the, like the carrots and the wasabi on the end here. It's like a carrot Eiffel Tower. And then the little flower. That is art. How can you even eat this? It's too pretty. Because it's so delicious. <laughs> And continuing our grand feast, we got some tempura here, shrimp and vegetable, as well as crispy chicken curry. Oh yes! And you went Dub's order on the uh, what is it now? Vegetable spring roll. Oh okay. This is like my new favorite soy item. Okay. And I doubled. I, I doubled on the sushi and did not regret it. Um, delicious as always, as if you were expecting anything different. Soy, like every single time, is a home run. Like it, it is always so good every time. And I don't know, I'm really glad we went here on the first night because I don't know, being at Soy kind of feels like being at home. I don't know why, but it's just kind of like a nice welcome hug that, yeah. that I wanted today. And I know we talked about this earlier about, you know, there's two resorts here right next door. You can come in between them, but, but that was an example of that, right? We didn't have to call, we didn't have to make a reservation, we didn't have to get permission. We just walked over here. Yeah, and, and also, that's it. also too, we, we've mentioned this um, on other sandal stays, um, but if there's anybody new here, included. Included. Every restaurant, completely free, included with your stay. So keep that in mind. You could have a delicious meal like that at Soy. You could go for a sushi appetizer and go to dinner somewhere else. You got options. Headed back to the room, but you gotta stop when someone's got a big wheel of torches. There's more fire. Barbados is literally on fire in a good way. We keep finding fire tonight. <laughs> what, is he eating the fire? He's fire. Never 
has nighttime music been so appropriate? If you did not get the reference, that was a Rihanna song, and Rihanna is from Barbados. She was on a big poster in the airport earlier. I know. We saw Rihanna in Barbados. Not in person, but in poster form. Not, not, not the same, but... It's what we got for today, and, I, and I'm taking it. And that is going to do it for today. A travel day, always hectic, always busy, uh, but fun nonetheless. And we are here. We're here now in Barbados at Sandals Royal Barbados, and of course, right next door. Two resorts in one is a really cool feature. If you're interested in coming to Sandals Royal Barbados, or Barbados, Barbados, uh, <laughs> or any of the other Sandals or Beaches property, if you want to take the kids, do a family trip, head to Beaches, not in Barbados, uh, but any of those, we can help make that happen as travel advisors. We partner directly with Sandals. We have a fantastic relationship with them and we'll help get you here so you can enjoy your own stay. Feel free to reach out via the travel agent information in the description of this video. It's completely free to use our services. Uh, HopinHappyTravels.com is the website. If you've recently booked a Sandals or Beaches stay within the past two weeks, you can transfer it to our agency completely free of charge and then we'd be able to assist you the rest of the way. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us for today's video. We'll see you back tomorrow, day number two, here in Barbados. Barbados! Barbados, baby! That's right. But we're signing off for tonight. We'll see you next time. Happy, Happy travels! travels.